Leh is a town in the Indian state Jammu and Kashmir, considered as one of the more civilized places in the region. In Leh, you can do a lot of sightseeing. There is a local pedestrian area where you can buy lots of hiking gear, carpets, souvenirs, local food, and several places to exchange money. In a side street, we discovered a local common area where they served free food for the locals. The place was covered with Tibetan prayer flags and prayer wheels, and many locals sitting, eating, and chatting. There is the great Shanti Stupa. It is a huge Buddhist white domed stupa on a hilltop in Chanspa. The Great Palace of Leh is definitely a highlight and well worth to check out. Lama Yuru. When you enter the Lama Yuru region, you will find it has an awesome landscape already. When driving from Leh to Kargil, you will pass by Lama Yuru. If you are a backpacker, you can start your trek here through the Lama Yuru Valley. Otherwise, you can also do some sightseeing. There is a great monastery here. Just pay a low entrance fee and then you can explore the huge monastery. Padum. It took us two full days to get here by car from Leh. The journey to Padum is really an adventure. You basically drive through mountain passes, white Himalayan mountains everywhere you look and we stopped regularly to grab some fresh mountain water from the side of the road. The highlight was the Grand Glacier we discovered and the entrance to Sanskar up in the mountain. It was a small stupa covered in Tibetan praying flags. Padum is the capital of the Kingdom of Sanskar. There used to be an old Padum which is now deserted. Zangla Zangla was historically one of the two main capitals of the Zanskar kingdom, the other being Padum. Zangla is basically a province. It is blessed with green fields and very accommodating homestays. Zangla only gets four hours of electricity a day from Padum. There's no running water either. Zangla is surrounded by incredible mountains. It has an awesome nunnery. A Hungarian scholar edited the first Tibetan English dictionary while living in Zangla Palace in 1823. Karsha Village This village is a bit bigger than Zangla, especially because of its huge monastery. The Karsha Gompa is a Buddhist monastery in the Padum Valley of the Zanskar region. The villagers here are also blessed with green fields and a mountain range view that is unforgettable. I hope this video helped you for your next trip to Zanskar. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!